Uh, welcome back. I want you to meet Stewie. This 11-month-old York Yorkie is up for adoption through Wagon Train Terrier Rescue. We thought we'd hook you with Stewie's cute face so that we could tell you about the Rally to Rescue. Jennifer Misfeld and Laura Castaneda are here with an event preview and a few pups, too. Absolutely. It's nice to see both of you. Let's Thank start you. with this little guy. Tell us about Jake. So Jake is um, with Mid-America Boston Terrier Rescue. He is looking for a forever home. Mm -hmm. um, he is an owner surrender. Um, he is 11 years old. Mm -hmm. Owners moved and just yeah. could not take their pets with him. Um, apologize about the eye. Yeah, what's Stewie, going on with him? Stewie had an extreme case of dry eye, which left a lot of discomfort. So mm -hmm. to help him out, um, uh, we went ahead and had that eye removed. So he's oh, in wow. the healing process. He's not in pain. He's actually much better off right now than We've he was before. We've got a dog at home with, uh, he's suffered from dry eye for years yes. and it can be very serious as yep. we see here. You have but to treat it properly. The next the next owners are going to want to know that and be able to help as much as possible. Right. Who's this? Jan? This right? is Jan. Jan is available <laughs> for adoption through Wagon Train Terrier Rescue. She is a seven-year-old purebred Brindle Karen Terrier, mm -hmm. um, same as Toto from Wizard of Oz. This is a great example. You say purebred. So for people who were that's important, you yep. can find purebred dogs through rescue groups. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Many rescue groups have um, purebred dogs as well as yeah. um, shelters. Is she always this mild for terriers? We <laughs> yes. wouldn't expect this. She is always this docile and calm and just loves a snuggle on the couch. Wow. And, a wonderful, wonderful pet. Well, for you. maybe if we have time at the end of the visit, we can talk more about adoption. Yep. So, for our viewers who are interested in one or both of the dogs, we can get you that information. Uh, the Rally to Rescue, this includes activities for kids and pets. Let's start with what's planned for kiddos. Absolutely. So, for kids, we have a couple of just like tic tac toe games, um, but we try to get them to start interacting with the pets. Mm -hmm. So, we have a bone hunt, which requires the children or their pet owners to keep the dog on the leash. Um, we have a dog pool we're gonna have a rally race so everybody is going to be able to participate and summer is here so let's yeah. get them out and going yeah no kidding and if listen pet owners know that energy builds up over winter Absolutely. we love these <laughs> events where we can let them burn off steam there's even a bobbing for hot dogs, dogs. right those yes. fall festivals we think about apples in big tubs yep. but this is hot dogs and hot it's dogs. for the dogs it's for the dogs uh -huh. um, we also have um, Musical frisbees. Yeah. So we're coming up with many ideas to get you guys out there and about. And okay. at the end of the day, it's a, it's a good thing because you're yeah. going to be educated, but you're also going to be supporting mm -hmm. the local rescue groups because so we have a lot of them there. Can I bring my dog to the event even if he's not a terrier? Absolutely. Uh -huh. We have a lot of different breeds there. Yeah. All yep. breeds. All breeds are welcome. Um, we are having ten different rescue groups come nice. um, mm -hmm. with their adoptable dogs through their mm -hmm. group. So we're having. A Great Dane Rescue, Bassett Beagle Rescue, so a, a number of different. Min pins. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give them some love. Uh, how does, how do your organizations, between the two of you and then all of these other, I mean, eight more to boot part of the event, how do you impact the community overall? Well, just to let you guys know is that Omaha, Nebraska as a whole is very rescue friendly. Yeah. There is rescue groups for every breed of dog, actually every type of animal you can mm -hmm. think of. And um, it's great that we all have a good relationship among each other, that we can come together yeah. in a park and, again, educate the public that right. rescue does exist. And we support the shelters as well. Yeah. So Your message is don't buy, rescue, what kind of difference can we make and how many animals, any idea in our area who sort of are waiting for a home now for oh, rescue? Goodness, um, so many of them and, and the thing that's so important about uh, rescuing animals is that there's, there's always animals in the wings that, that need help or that are coming from neglectful right. situations mm -hmm. or um, situations where their owners can't help them. So um, by adopting out our animals, we're yeah. able to take more in that are, that are needing help. The so. picture we showed you off the top, that was Stewie. Yep. Um, he's one of 19 dogs through WagonTrainTerrierRescue.com. Um, the Boston Terrier Group, that's where Jake is through. Um, ten groups will be represented at Rally to Rescue on May 3rd from 1230 to 3 o'clock. Chalco Hills, um, 154th and Giles. An inexpensive event, really, this is as much about information as it is about raising money. We thank you both so much for coming thank you. in. Thanks for um, as us. a rescue mom, this is, a, I think, a great cause. So yes. we appreciate we the time. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, if you are a dog lover, you might also want to know about a fundraiser for Omaha's two dog parks. We learned about that yesterday. The clip is available online at omahamorningblend.com. Mike, I know you have some more guests, so we'll toss it over to you. All right. Thank you, Mary.